Hey guys, it's Mark with Hawkeye Ordnance. We are uh, we're back at doing reviews. It's the uh, beginning of our season here, 2016 in Minnesota, and we took a little break last year because I was going through a big transition in my equipment. Now it started with a, a malfunction with some ammunition that took out a rifle of mine, and at that time I decided I was going to look at everything I was up to and make some decisions about what gear made the most sense for me going forward. So I'm um, going to have a bunch of new videos coming out over the next few months. Um, we are starting our summer series that we're calling Ignite here in Minnesota and this is the first lovely day actually it's about 38 degrees and uh, kind of snowy rainy but we're gonna start out today talking about uh, a change I made in shot shell carriers so uh, this year I will be using the carbon arm stuff so this is the carbon arms pinwheels this happens to be the 10 rounder now uh, really important to understand that Tacom, Invictus, Carbon Arms, and I'm sure there's some I'm not thinking, are all really, really good loaders, and they all fall on different places of the sort of uh, speed versus retention um, spectrum. So this isn't really a video um, endorsing any one, uh, more that I'm showing off what I'm using and kind of why. So when I decided this year where I was going to spend my dollars, um, when I'm traveling going to big events, what I like is the big terrain matches. Blue Ridge would be one of the, the major ones, Hard as Hell, uh, Iron Man, things like that, where it's heavy, heavy round counts, lots of transitions between different guns, lots of movement, which I really like. And we shoot a lot of bays here in Minnesota, but when I spend my dollars, that's what I'm looking for so I wanted something that was giving me the most uh, shell density for my money as well as with in the smallest amount of real estate I should say as well as um, I wanted something higher on the retention side so I could go down on it if I had to and what I found with these was I can just start loading these suckers on in 10 round shots and before too long even if I if I don't have a pistol I can start getting where am I at right now I'm at uh, 42 shells right now on my belt and um, I can add a couple more uh, eight or four rounders now I'm still using these guys believe it or not classics and I'll show some video right now of uh, an opportunity that I um, I used these just recently at the, my first match of this season down at the Shooter Source Mossberg uh, Shotgun Championships. We were going through a tunnel and it was really nice to be able to feed them in um, on the move like that. So I still am using these guys and you can keep layering these in. And next thing you know, you're you're sitting at 10, 20, 30, 42, uh, 50 shells on your belt, which is enough for any shotgun stage I've ever been on. I'm not a huge fan of the chest rigs for a lot of reasons um, and again it's not that it's not a good option it's just not the right option for me so this gives me what I'm looking for the other nice thing I like about the tight 10 rounds is it allows me to do uh, two quads or uh, three deuces or um, or uh, the, the full 10 rounds so uh, let me load up a few shells and I'll give you just a, an idea of what we're doing here. One of the things that's pretty cool about the carbon arm setup is um, some of the different options you have. So as you see right now, these are what the, the tens look like and the backer plates for that. And then there's a, a 12 round version of it as well, which is this guy. And you get the little larger plate. I'll roll some photos into these. And then this is one of their backgrounds, so their back, uh, backbones, excuse me. So this is 24 rounds of shotgun if you wanted to appear, or you could lock right onto your belt. Also a cool option. And then colors. And there's some other ones out there. There's a purple, I think, and uh, possibly a blue. But they've also come out with some new versions of this where there's uh, some more vertical. Um, so you have a little more room for your fingers under there, although that doesn't bother me too much, but I've got little weasel guy hands. Um, interesting thing, too, is this year I've also switched to loading weak hand uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, partly because I was uh, I was dropping a lot of shells loading strong hand um, quads and so I was looking for something that was frankly a little less risky and so we ended up with this so um, get my shotgun going here so um, what we're looking at now is with these guys we just flip over coming in right and it works great for me and I can load a whole lot of shells in the belt so I would urge you to take a look at these. Um, you can get them at lots of great places, shootersource.com, Arms and Arms. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not out there advocating getting rid of what you're currently using. All I'm saying is, is this is what worked for me for these big terrain style matches that I've really found that I enjoy. I also like the way they look. Cost is pretty reasonable, and I can build it in a million different configurations, which I couldn't get with all the other loaders out there. So I hope you guys uh, are well, and I look forward to a whole bunch of great new reviews with you. And uh, we'll see you uh, next time. Thanks so much, and God bless.